So now we have uh, tested uh, the IP connectivity in the uh, CLI. Once that is done, we have to enter the management IP of the vManage in the browser and then hit enter. First time it will ask you like this, uh, give advanced, proceed to unsafe, uh, it will take you to the, the Cisco SD-WAN vManage console. The default username and password is admin admin here also. You can give admin admin and then login. So right now you can see there is no vSmart, v van edge or vbond added. Only vManage is there and that is also showing the certificate warning invalid as one because we have not yet installed the root certificate. So once you log into the console for the first time, let's uh, add the uh, vbond and the organization name to this uh, vManage. So for that we have to go inside administration settings. The first thing is the uh, organization name. We have to enter the organization name. Um, this is a very important step. We have to remember this organization name and we have to use this while generating the root certificate, while generating the license, and while onboarding the VHS. So we have to use the same organization name what we are entering here now. So I'm just giving SIVA600. And then save. And the second entry is the vbond. So I have to click edit, add the vbond IP. So in our lab, vbond IP is 2020.1.1. So that is 2020.1.1. And then save. Leave the port number as it is. It's a default port number and then save. So vbond IP also edited successfully. So now before we add the controllers into vManage, we have to configure the system configuration under the CLI. So right now, if you see, uh, we manage show run. The system configuration is not yet done. Only the organization name we can see that we are done in the GUI and done the interface configurations. So let's log in and uh, go into the system configuration mode systems. The first thing we have to configure the system IP. It is the uh, unique identifier uh, which identify this particular device. I'm just giving simply 1.1.1. .1 then the site ID. Site ID I'm giving 10 and then the vbond IP 20.20.20. Sorry, 1.1. And also give the clock. The time should be sync in all the devices, then only uh, it will come up. The site ID keep for controllers, we keep the same site ID. And for VHS, we'll keep a separate site ID to differentiate. So I think the organization name is already there for uh, vManage, so I'm not giving that. Just committing it. Show run system. You can see the system IP, site ID, organization name, and then the vbond IP. Now let's go to vSmart. Show run system. So here we have to configure uh, organization name also. Need to config mode. System. System IP, I'm giving 2.2.2.2. .2 Site ID, I'm giving same 10. Org name, SIVA600. Then the vbond IP, 20.20.1.1. .20 then the clock. Show on system. Just make sure the system IP, site ID, and the organization name is exactly like what we're giving for uh, vManage, SIVA600, and then the vbond IP also same. Now let's do for vbond. Config T, system, system IP, I'm just giving 3.3.3, site ID, giving same 10, org name exactly same, SIVA600. And here, when I configure vbond, uh, when I give the vbond IP 20.20.1.1, I have to give it as local. So this is the command which actually changes this VH device into a vbond. So when you give local, it activates all the uh, programs required to be as a active. I mean, acting as a vbond. Then commit. Show run just to make sure, uh, system IP, site ID, 
organization is reborn local and then all the other things are same so now we are good to add the uh, uh, vbond and vsmart into your v manage in the gui so now to add the controllers into v manage go to configuration devices controllers and then click on add controllers i'm going to add vsmart first so vsmart ip is 2021.3 dot three and the username is admin admin leave the protocol dtls and uh, uncheck the generate csr now we will do it later and then on so this one is added second thing is the vbond vbond ip we know 20 dot 20 dot 1 dot 1 username password admin admin uncheck the generate csr now and then add okay so now my vbond and vsmart are added and uh, you can check devices certificates controllers there is no certificate no certificate installed so the next uh, step is to uh, you know uh, generate a root certificate and install that in all the devices and then we generate a csr and then uh, install the certificate on the uh, controllers that will be the next step